welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a special person here. Her name is Summer. She is from Rave Hackers, and we are doing a collab because we're both here for Lights All Night Music Festival. So you guys can go check out her video. We did a little get ready with me, so we are both rave, ready for the rave, and all that good stuff. And we're just going to be talking about what's on our radar for 2020 in terms of festivals, and we're also going to be talking about um, our favorite festival fashion trends from this year and kind of just chit chat about it all if you want to follow summer you can find her at rave hackers right on yes. instagram and then she has a youtube channel i will link it all down below so you guys can go check her out and check out our video together our radar for 2020 do you want to go first no you go first okay do you want to go do you want me to go first yeah you can okay. go first <laughs> so for 2020 probably like the biggest thing on my radar right now is okeechobee okay. i like I have heard so many amazing things yeah. and like my fam is really big into Okeechobee okay. and I've heard like their new venue like so this year they have like they're staying at their old venue but they're like expanding their yeah. grounds and since they were gone last year yeah. they've been taken over by Insomniac. Um, yeah. yeah. So I'm like really pumped because like if you guys have been to Forest and you know it's like super interactive yeah. and like I haven't been to other Insomniac events, but I would assume that they'll make be amazing. Yeah. Okeechobee very spiritual and exciting. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I have that one on my list, and then obviously Forrest, like, still working on getting that ticket, which <laughs> we'll get there. Well, she'll get it. It will happen. It'll happen. I really want to do, like, I'm considering Bonnaroo again this year, but that's kind of like on the wayside. Okay. And then I really want to go to Shambhala yes. and Lightning in a Bottle. Those yes. are like the big ones on my You're radar. thinking all the camping ones, basically. Yeah, all the big ones. I'm like, I really just want to go camp yeah. for four days. Because yeah. I'm not big with hotels. I like, I'm really bad at planning my time. Okay. So when I like stay at hotels, like last night we were supposed to get in at six and we didn't even go in until like 9.30. Yeah. We're just, my boyfriend, love him, <laughs> but so late. Like yeah. 30 minutes and he thinks he's on time. And I'm like, that's <laughs> that is not it. That is not it. That's so funny. So those are like the big ones on my list. And then obviously like the like small yeah. like single day like events and stuff like that. Like I'm sure I'll do like a Halloween festival. Yeah. Okay. And that's probably like it for, for yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> for now. We'll see, so. You never know what happens as like the year goes on and stuff. Well like the lineups drop and you're like, okay, yeah. I absolutely have to. Yeah, yeah. That's festival. how I feel what happened this year is that after Electric Forest, I didn't have anything planned just yet. And then like Lollapalooza lineup came out and we were like, all right, like we're going. And then like, same thing with Imagine. And like, I think we knew that we wanted to go to Dirty Bird Camp Out at least. Mm. And then because we're in Texas, it's so easy for us to go to like ACL, Seismic Dance Event mm. and like Freaky Deaky. So like those ones we'll probably go to next year. I really want to go to Okeechobee, but I think I'm going to wait till 2021. Mm -hmm. Just because I'm the type of person that like waits it out when things change. Yeah. Just to see like how it plays out. I don't know. Because we're traveling from so far and spending so much money that like I don't want to not have a good experience or like not yeah. trying to persuade you away no, from it. No, and I totally agree. Like that's yeah. like my biggest concern when they like change things. It's like you don't like you really don't know what you're gonna get. Yeah. Like this year, Live Nation bought out Bonnaroo from yeah. like their initial stakeholders and like they got rid of the arch, like Please bring back the arch. Yeah. We want the arch. <laughs> and then they like sold, they sold so many more tickets than they usually yeah. do. And so it was packed. Ugh. And so it was just like, I think it'll be really cool. Like if you get to go like the next year to yeah. see like the comparison exactly. of like what it looks like, yeah, which yeah. I totally get that. Yeah. And that's how I felt about lightning in a bottle this year. Cause we were going to go to lightning in a bottle as well. But then the whole venue changed. They kept on changing the date and stuff. And so then we were like, no, like, because a trip out to California from Texas is just like a lot. Yeah. So that's one of the ones on my radar for next year. Once the lineup comes out, I think we'll figure we'll it out. It. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I already bought tickets to Crossed, which is a house and techno festival yes. in San Diego. Um, a lot of my friends in San Diego are, are going and I saw the lineup and I was like, it's my time to finally go. I've been wanting yes. to go for like three years. So that's going to be a big one for yeah. me. Forest, for sure. I got tickets to Forest. Between Cross and Forest, I'm like evaluating like possibly going back to Coachella because I went in 2017. Ooh, okay. And I really would be interested to see what it's like now, especially mm -hmm. from the eyes of like a creator. Because oh, when yeah. I went, I hadn't started Vibe with Aid. 
But like Coachella was one of the reasons why I started Vibe with Aid because like I was looking for all these tips and tricks about Coachella. That was my first big festival, three day festival. Mm -hmm. And so that inspired me to start Vibe with Aid. So it'd be cool to go back and just to kind of see it. Mm -hmm. And Ryan's never been and like all my rave fam, like they really don't go to a whole lot except for like one or two big ones out of the year. And they're all kind of thinking about going back to Coachella. I'm like, well, if you guys are all going back, like, I, I guess it's my time to go back too. Yes. So we're looking at Coachella and then lightning in a bottle. It's just like the fact that I'm thinking about going to California in like once every month is like, we'll it see. It makes your wallet kind of hurt a little bit. You're yeah, like, I'm already oh. thinking about that. But you know what? Southwest points, hopefully can use those. Save those up for that. Yes. Um, and then, like I said, after fours, it's just kind of like, We'll see kind of where the rest of the year takes us. Yeah. I would like to go to Shambhala. Mm -hmm. um, the only concern with Shambhala is like it's so far away. Like yeah. British Columbia, it's like, I don't know. My issue is like I love to have all my camping stuff with me. Yeah. And like it would be hard to sacrifice those camping goods that I love that I know won't yeah. fit in like a suitcase yeah, yeah, yeah. or something like that. That's my only Or you'd like, have to buy it. Yeah, I remember you talking to me about that for Forest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I was just like, I just can't decide what I want to do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's how with Shambhala, I really want to go, but it's a trip and like planning and stuff. And they moved it up a weekend. Oh, yeah. I so know. last year it was the first weekend of August, oh. but then they moved it up because I guess a lot of people that go to Burning Man also go to Shambhala, and that's yeah. just like a lot. Um, cause I think Burning Man's the week was the weekend after or something. And so they moved it up a weekend, but then that means it's the last weekend of July, which means you have like three weeks between Forest and Shambhala. <laughs> mm -hmm. Which I feel like that's like just enough to like be on the mend from all the yeah. festivals. And then you're like, oh, I'm going, to going back, back Going right back in. So yeah, then after that, I guess we'll just see where the rest of like 2020 takes me, uh, takes us, I guess. Yeah. yeah. I feel like the festival lineups will dictate it. Like. Yeah. Buku is one of those festivals where I know it's like oh, really that's another hit or miss. one. And like Halloween, like I feel like year after year people are like, oh, we don't know if we're doing Halloween this year or if like Halloween is yeah. even coming back. And then like a couple weeks before the event's supposed to take place, they're like, we're back, like buy tickets, oh. like here's the lineup. So I'm just like, it'd be like that last minute full set, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah. But I feel like it'd be one to like experience just once. I've heard yeah. magical things. Yeah, about I've heard good things, things about so. it. All right, do we want to get into the fashion? Yes. Trends? Do we want to pick like maybe three-ish? Yeah. Yeah, I think three-ish would think be three good between perfect. us. Okay. Yes. You can go first since I did the yeah. since I did 2020. First trend that I really saw was like um, the combination of just like one colored looks. Like the multi-chromatic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So like, for example, uh, Lauren Hutzel, she has like this green look. Like green was a big color this neon. year. I feel like green, neon, mm -hmm. orange. I really have a goal for 2020 to try and do a green or orange look because I hate those colors. Just to like see what I could do mm -hmm. to like make me like those colors on me. We'll see if it actually happens, but I think it'd be fun, like little challenge of yeah. like just building an outfit of a color I hate. <laughs> I feel like I don't hate them. Look, like so good on you though. Like, yeah. With your complexion, it would like offset like, it. Green so is my burst. Like my burst sense emerald, yeah. and I just always hated it for some reason. Cause I was like, it's not as pretty as like a diamond or a pearl, whatever. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Diamonds are girls. And then I right? also pick Pamela Secco and Van Secco. They're EDC, Kylie and Kendall. Cause that's also oh like gosh. a monochromatic look with like the orange and the purple and stuff. Yes. Oh my god. And that looks super cool. And then um, the last look for a monochromatic look was Lena's look from EDC Orlando. That is her beautiful. little Cinderella like beautiful thing. I love it. She was so pretty. Ugh, iconic. Literally iconic. Yeah, I literally mean, iconic. Stay in your Lena if you don't follow her. Do it. Do it now. You're making a mistake with yeah. your life because her outfits are freaking amazing. Yes. I love them. Yes. So I'm kind of like right there with you on like okay. the monochromatic looks. Yeah. Like the neon colors were like my favorite. Like I loved them this year. Yeah. Like um like Kelsey Donovan, like I love like, her. I met her at Imagine. She's great. She I feel like she would be like the funnest person to be She's around. She's so fun. Like, but she makes like the best looks. Like she always yeah. has like shop beaglets on and like accessories and always. Shoes and like, are always amazing. Yeah. She's always right there with like the little details. You're like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like this year is also the land of like 
fun prints and like yes. funky prints, you know what I mean? Yes, yes, Which yes, yes. I was really for. Like Rave With Me, Hente did a ton yeah. of those really fun yeah. prints. I think Foundella came out this year. Or it was last year, that print. Maybe, yeah. I think. And then she had the Rave With Me, Hente or Die. Oh, it might have yeah. been last year actually because I wore a crop top with a femdelic mm -hmm. uh, right. to decadence. A lot of color white. Yeah, like Kylie and Alyssa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. That was like the most iconic outfit look I think I've seen to date aside from the Seco girls. Mm -hmm. I also saw this today from Kat Corey. It has this like, I saw this skirt. It's like a PVC skirt kind of that. thing that has like stars and stuff. I'll put the screenshot up here. But I saw that and I was like, whoa, that's super cool. Yes. I've also noticed that like cropped hoodies have really yes. become a thing this year. Like crop tops, crop yeah. hoodies. Yeah, and I yeah. feel like Go Guy, like they yeah. came out with like these neon ones, which like was already on the like train with neon. I like I love her. If you yeah. don't follow her, she has like the most inspirational stories and like yeah. she her captions are always the best. mood. Mood. <laughs> I'm like Say it louder for everyone. Yeah. There. And she has the best outfits too. Like she always comes up with like the most original, like full on costumes and it's freaking awesome. I'm like, can you dress me? I think the last one I'll say just as a whole is like just having cohesive looks, like makeup, accessories. Like when I started in 2015, like I'll put a picture up here. I was wearing a crop top and shorts. Yes. Like that's it. And like then probably up until about this year, I didn't start accessorizing until this year probably. I feel like it's just become such a trend to have like a harness, a skirt, and like headpieces, earrings. Like I started wearing earrings again this year. Like, hello? <laughs> so hello. weird. But I think just having like the whole cohesive outfit is like where it's going. And if you're like not into that, that's totally fine still. Like, like I said, I started raving in 2015 and it's taken me up until now to like get to where I am. <laughs> I definitely want to do a video of like my fashion transformation. Like, yeah, evolution, the glow up, honestly. <laughs> Though like, I love looking at, so there's like those ravers that have been in the scene for like ever, like Medusa yeah, and all of yeah. them. And I love looking at like their OGs. OG, yeah, and I'm Jake like, Ryan Duff. Yeah, yeah his stuff oh always cracks me up from like 2011 and 2010 with yeah. like the candy and like, the oh, big flowers and stuff. I love that. They like get better every time you yeah. them. I'm like, I love this. Yeah. Ugh, those are the best. I think like this year another big trend that I saw was like the chains. And I hope that yes. continues into 2020 because yes. like I'm really there for it. And like the streetwear, like oh, I love pants, the streetwear, yeah. all of that. Like girl loves pants. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. I think so. I've like loved dressing up like more fun this year, but I think I'm going back to comfy cute like mm -hmm. this next year. That's what I've been thinking. I'm like, I want to wear just like some type of like really comfy bottoms yeah. and like a cute top because it's like yeah. nine times out of 10, I feel like nobody looks at my bottoms anyways. <laughs> like you take pictures and like, it's just really hard to get like a full body yes. shot in the crowd. Yeah. And like, I'm really bad about posing my feet. Yeah. So like, I always look weird anyways. Yeah. I've been having issues with uh, shuffling. In, any, in a lot of my tops lately. So yeah. I've been having to like bring an extra shirt, bring a jacket to or like, like something over. to put over mm -hmm. and it's been annoying. So <laughs> I'm trying to like get more like full supportive stuff again because like I want to like keep on shuffling at shows and not be worried about like a boot popping out. Yeah, like, oh, there goes my top. Like, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. It's what fine. do you see being big next year? Or hope I don't to see know. Well. I'm like hopeful that people will continue to like kind of take the old like 90s rave stuff yeah, and make yeah. it new. Like I feel like they picked up on like the neon trend and yeah. like the funky pattern. So I'm hoping that that like continues. And like the hair clips and like yes. cute stuff like that. And like yeah. girls like continue like accessorizing. Like Scarlet's Addiction popped yes. up and like just managed to snatch myself like one of those Lily necklaces. I want like, one of those. Dude, I might have to splurge. I turned on the notifications because they kept selling out yeah. and I was like, I, yeah, yeah. So I like, I love those types of accessories, especially because it's like, you can wear them with anything, yeah. you know what I mean? So it's like, even if you do want to do like comfy casual, you can still like dress it up with yeah. those accessories, which I like, I love that because I like comfy. Yeah, for sure. Comfy clothes. That's what I'm thinking. I definitely see streetwear. Like a lot yeah. more of that, I feel like. I definitely still think like bedazzled stuff, jewel glitter. stuff. Cause like, you know the white on glitter, like um, Instagram filter? Yeah. Like everyone's like loving like the glitzy kind of stuff. So mm -hmm. I feel like 
for like the more people that are wanting to be comfy cute like they can go the streetwear route yeah and the girls absolutely. that are wanting to go all out will go like the glitzy route and stuff i think so too i think they'll be like i don't know i have like it might just be like the type of fashion that i like but I've noticed a lot more people doing like the ninja like yeah type outfits, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're getting into like the like harnesses and like the thigh bags and all of that, yeah. which like I love that kind of stuff. Yeah. So like I hope that keeps going. Like yeah. I'm about yeah, that. That's so. awesome. Well not awesome. now. Thanks yeah. for doing this with yes. me. This was like the biggest dream. This was so I'm much so fun. Excited. I'm so yes. glad we could do this. We've been following each other for like Literally since I found Vibe with Aid, like I started Rave Hackers and I started looking for like other content creators and then I found Vibe with Aid like two years ago and I was like, I'm following this girl and I'm like, Yeah, we've just like DM'd each sentence. other back and forth. So be sure to go check Summer out at Rave Hackers and then you can also find our video that we did together yes. on her channel and everything. We did a little get ready with me. And then we'll both have lights all night content, right? Yes. Yeah. So you guys can see what we thought about lights all night. In our vlogs, reviews, stuff like that. Um, we've had a great time so far, so hopefully that stays through with day two. So, thank you guys for watching and um, subscribe to join the Vibe Tribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, Bye guys.